As you can see, this is the entire uh, cast and crew and the two most important ladies who have actually produced this film. Uh, the film is called Kalki, as you all know. But I just thought, you know, we rarely get an opportunity where, uh, you know, artists and producers can sit together and have a chat. So I thought maybe we'll just sit and talk. So, of course, my first thing, of course, is to Sapnaji and, and to Priyankaji. How did you feel when Nagi said, this is my, was it Nagi's idea? Or was it your idea or what? With Nagi around, I don't think we have a scope of any ideas. Sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <obviously. laughs> so, I mean, we've been obviously working together for a few years now and every time a film gets over, it's about what are we doing next? And he just tells us a line. And then right after Manati, he took some time after a year, he said, I have something. And then he just told the idea of it, which blew our minds. At that point of time, we really didn't understand the depth of it, what it needs to make this sort of a film. Only when we were going into it, we would understand, oh, this is his vision. In fact, we were all very excited to start off with. But then when we actually started, we, we were like, are we going to even help him enough? Are we like enough for him to make this yeah, film? Yeah. So that was one of our concerns. And then we really needed these big shoulders, like all of you all to come and carry a film of the stature. Yeah. You know, the, the thing that I really want to know is that when you, when you see the scale of this film as we've all seen and been involved in, I mean, what does a producer go through when they mm. see all this? this huge scale and the kind of dream and the vision that he has, it's impossible to imagine that. I think in the beginning, uh, it took us time, sir. Like for example, I mean, he told us a story and uh, I remember it was in the morning around 10 o'clock or 11 and it took us two days to get out of it. Um, and then when we started pre-production, I think one day I called Swapna and uh, we were in it like five months into it, pre-production and we were designing stuff and like trying, I called her and I was like, we're in it and I'm not able to sleep because I don't know if we're, we will be able to make it because yeah. you have to make every single thing in this film, like pen to paper to every single thing. And their deadlines, they're big actors. And so we had like a lot of sleepless nights and uh, then we got into it. Once we're in it, we're like, it's, we're in it. It's like yeah. we didn't have time to think or breathe more after that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cycle. I'm actually but, most curious about Priyanka, <laughs> because there's so many conflicts for her yeah, as like a wife, <laughs> as a sister, <laughs> as a producer, yeah, and uh, as the yeah. you know the, the lead on production. So there's so many different hats that you're wearing. So where do the lines? Actually, for this film, I think for Mahanati, we had lines because it's like a one-year project. But this is four years. I think there are no lines. It's just like get go, like come on, mm -hmm. war. You know, it's. Yeah. But uh, it gets, I mean, it gets difficult, but also it gets very easy because when you're a family, sir, you're always talking about the project, you're, you're always talking about what is next, what's the next schedule. So it definitely gets easy. But you know, flip side, it, it oh, has. You know, what, what I feel, you know, Kamal, is really admirable is that we have two ladies, <laughs> ladies looking after this massive production, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, some of the visuals you've already seen in the trailers. but. To have two women actually in charge Correct. and to see it executed and today we sit here to talk about the film and the kind of production that it has come out with, yeah. the kind of visuals you've seen has never been seen before. I mean, it's just quite, quite yeah, I was just talking about Shole. Yeah. That, uh, it's like that, you know, like mm -hmm. nobody has seen horses fall like that. Exactly. <laughs> nobody yeah. has seen machine guns going off like that. And uh, nobody has seen a villain talk like that or a hero <laughs> behave like that. <laughs> Everything was new about it. I, I think that's the same effect. And I know where wow. you're getting the confidence from. Uh, your father told me the story about how he became a producer. <laughs> he just went and stood in front of NTR house <laughs> for so many days that he noticed this face and he said, why is this young man? He seems educated mm -hmm. and he called him in and that's how the connection started and he became a producer yeah, wow. for NTR. Yeah. And wow. The name Vaijanti <laughs> film was given by Mr. <laughs> NTR. Yeah. So that's yeah. Yeah. Uh, what a whole story company. we never knew all this. Yeah. <laughs> no, and that tenacity of uh, purpose. Yeah. So also on this note, if we being, you know, two women able to pull off something like this, it is 
entirely i mean of course nagi is his vision his absolute hard work but also actors like you all who are extremely understanding and you know who understand the 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 beauty of cinema and willing to give whatever it takes for cinema and and someone like someone like prabhas who's not even questioning if it's just these two girls can pull it off or no like you know so uh, so it's thanks to you all for it's not thanks to me i think happen. when nagi came to talk to me about this uh, he just brought a, a picture a, a visual concept of, of you know what my character is going to look like and what prabhas is going to look like and i was this huge guy who's shoving off the prabhas <laughs> and Sir. all the fans of prabhas please you know please excuse me i'm hard jod ke maafi maang rahe hain you know don't <laughs> don't massacre me Sir, after you your see your my new film the all your fans <laughs> but, uh, it, uh, that was what was so impressive i said he's already got a vision in mind and he's got a picture of what is going to look like very rarely do you see but see I, i've seen uh, photo uh, shoots or uh uh what do you call uh, story look, board story, story board yeah well, so there are my target i always suspect that because that's an ambition mm. ah, what happens yeah. really but when i ask that question all that is fine it's on paper but how are you going to bring it to bring it that we have <laughs> and they showed me your footage <laughs> so i kept quiet i, I just became part of the <laughs> you know, project because usually people come with big diagrams and they the films don't even get made mm-hmm. yeah. so the my question was that then i straight away went into what am i going to look like yeah. <laughs> so i told you the story yeah, we just heard the story i came up with the third eye and he said it's done it was the first trial for me i don't know how the trial went for you the makeup trial and and uh, the prosthetics and everything and i was saying oh god another prosthetic film because i've already that. done two before this and uh, they're very painful yeah, but you know yeah, yeah. the three hours that it used to take to put on the prosthetic and then another hour and a half two hours to take it off it was all worth it <laughs> and now when we talk to you know people outside who don't know that uh, all of us that use prosthetics it takes about three hours to put it on And, and you have to just be and then taking it off yeah not move don't do anything cooperate with the makeup artist it's uh, it's it's, it's, it's not a torture really but you know a lot of people think it must be torture it is a torture so you know, <laughs> know. once once know. you know that what the final result is uh, going I to mean, be it is a torture <laughs> if <laughs> the movie is not good enough yeah i yeah. i agree but <laughs> the movie is good enough yeah. it's all worth it's it. not because you you're already imagining the applause no what i was wow. saying kamal was that the day i put on my makeup for the first day and uh, went on to the set i knew that this was worth it wow. you know the moment wow. you you sit on a scene you see the set wow. you see but that thing is just i knew it was all worth it i think i remember we were doing puja and you finished your makeup and we were doing uh, i think we were just doing Same something movie. and you just walked in like that yeah. with the whole thing you were there and yeah. we were like Yeah. Yeah. Stunned. Stunned, yeah. Too good, sir. <laughs> But that's all credit to you know the people who dress you up and make you up. No, everything. No, no credit to the. And imagine what is we do. All that has happened before you walking into the set. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now I have to come in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, what am I going to do? Oh. No, but, but, they, but I they, got a call when you walked on to set. I remember Nagi calling me and just mm-hmm. that first day of shoot. Mm-hmm. with you and nagi called me and said i just had to call and tell you that we shot our first day with kamal sir kamal like, sir ah, i missed it he never it called me he called me i was in bombay and it was a long break because i mean obviously we were shooting yeah. in you know different schedules and i hadn't heard from him in a while and i see this missed call from nagi i was like what has happened <laughs> i just called to tell you we shot our first day with <laughs> kamal <laughs> sir like a <laughs> child <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that's what made this one yeah. yeah that the child, that child, the child yeah. Yeah. we we yeah. hope this child will also make it <laughs> <laughs> So well, you perhaps like, you know you've always been very quiet and simple and don't give sir. many reactions on set but uh, yes, sir. I, you know <laughs> but, but somebody of your stature who is now presently uh, it's I I've always wondered how you feel or how you felt when Nagi came and said this to you. 
Vimnagi said first time. <laughs> Because when I first met I him and we met on set and all that, we went through this whole procedure where who's going to touch whose feet. So <laughs> he came and said, well, I'm just touching your feet. So then I said, okay, let's stop it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> this whole business. And then in a very quiet, private moment, he said, sir, be prepared to break a few bones and this and that. Yeah. I've been mean, this guy has made me break bones here, there. <laughs> and I've been jumping here and there in Bahubali and so on and so forth. <laughs> so I was wondering, how is it going to happen? But you know, that's the detailing that I was talking about, you know, the, the, your father. It's so, he's so simple, so down to earth. You can't believe he's there on set every yes. day. He's the first person. And he's actually mm -hmm. monitoring what the artist is being yeah. asked to do. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't put this, <laughs> don't make him do this because that's tough for him. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the way Nagi programmed everything, you know, he said, sir, don't worry. We'll just use close-ups and we've got, you know, dupes and we've got harnesses. And, and it is not about the number of cameras or number of Exactly, crew. yeah. It, it's the quietness of the set mm -hmm. which I enjoyed yeah. most. I must. I remember uh, the message. Because that's lacking in yeah. most sets. Yeah. The noise should be inside <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and in the theatres, yeah. Yeah. not in, in the set, set. So everybody is talking in, in discipline, which I found that uh, uh, Nag uh, Mr. Nagi could speak in his <laughs> volume and still be heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he mumbles, but uh, he's still heard in the set because that's how quiet the set is. I ask these questions, you know, because in my time we never had all these facilities. Yeah. So if we had to jump from the second floor, we actually jumped. Mm. There were no harnesses, you'd break your ankle, you'd break your leg and everything. Yeah, really so it was, a, it was a wonder for me how they were going to be able to do it. but. You know, I just marvel at the technology now, you know. Mm -hmm. Kamal, you must have been through a lot of all this earlier on. I think we have invested yeah. by breaking <laughs> <laughs> So But many more now. We never had there. these facilities, you know, Kamal. Yes, sir. Never we had know. Them. And to be able to now be part of it. Yes. And to have, you know, little cameras like this who are yeah. recording everything on digital. Yes. Yeah. Um, For us, as you may be knowing that, you know, celluloid film was the most expensive uh -huh. item. In, okay. in the budget of a film, yeah, yeah. because it was not available, it used to get imported from Kodak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, to save celluloid film, you had to be sure awesome. that your first take was okay. No. Yeah, that's a reputation. You can't you. make a mistake. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember Rishida used to say, Rishida, just one take. No, 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 part <laughs> is okay. <laughs> he's saving celluloid, but yeah. he's also satisfied with it. Yeah. Yeah. And if you insist, it's there, take it, take it, you pay for it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like that. Yeah, uh, we never saw, we never had an opportunity to uh, see, you know, monitors, the monitors. monitors yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No And we were not allowed to go near the camera also. <laughs> You have to oh. pay a fine if you... Oh, yeah, they, they're all up yeah. <laughs> If you got a chance money. to look through the... Nothing, yeah. never allowed. Not even allowed to go to the editing room. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it was impossible. You saw yourself for the first time on the day of the, the release of the film. <laughs> yes. So all this has been a, a, a huge experience and a learning for all of us. Yeah. Which is why, you know... And Prabhas, I'm very sorry. All the fans... <laughs> <laughs> The first time when we had a fight, you well, you caught me here and I thought like... In the movie. In the movie. <laughs> in the movie. So, I, I thought like, Amitabh sir, I need to be careful and all. He caught me so hard and uh, this film, this man is not a, whatever he's saying, he's some 25, 26. <laughs> and I told him, he's so strong. <laughs> you know? No, no, but a lot of things we did, you know, we never ever expected we could manage this. And that is what is so intriguing really. I no. think also the sets, I think for the audience to know that we built, we eventually, if I may say, built a city. Built, the built city. city. Cities, yeah. 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 Built a city yeah. and I think the fact that Nagi today has a vision where once the movie releases, I think fans of the movie can actually go and visit the set. The vision is set. unique yeah. because the way that he places the camera Correct. is not like we are used to. Mm. Yeah. He comes quite close yeah. to look at you. <laughs> too, too soft. And, uh, that, that, that's what you enjoy because uh, yeah. how do you act for yeah. the camera is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how In do our you time it used to be a challenge, Kamal. You yeah. know, and I still remember that uh, one of the challenges for an artist used to be to give a close-up with a 75mm lens mm -hmm. on a Mitchell camera which was huge. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This uh -huh. huge monster used to come and stand here wow. uh -huh. with a lens uh -huh. and you have to do 
a close-up. Mm -hmm. so and it's a rack shift camera. Yeah. So even look. the cameraman is not actually looking at the image, but he's looking at <laughs> 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 oh. oh. parallax. Yes. And yes. they didn't right. have monitors. No, no man. No, no monitor. Okay. Nothing. Oh. And so we're not used to, you know, not seeing the director standing next to us on the set. Mm. We're always used to see yeah. where the camera is, the director, then he's guiding us. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. not used to that. Yeah. You just hear a voice somewhere, <laughs> two miles away. Yeah, he's shouting or whatever it is. But uh, really, you know, I mean, Deepika, you have done so many films, you know, and uh, uh, I will say that you're a modern, modern age artist. So, yeah. no, not only that, in the West. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, so, I think, how, I think how nothing else. international ads like ever, like it, anyone no. ever did. <laughs> Louis no, no, it, <laughs> it, it must have been a hell of an experience for you. No, I think what I was processing as I heard the two of you speak is in terms of where we were, filmmaking and technology, yeah. to now for all of us to be a part of a movie where I think every kind of technology that is available in the world today is probably at our disposal through this movie. Um, and the fact that we have a director who's used it so intelligently um, and also to find that balance because also with AI and things like that, I think you can also lose the soul of, of performances, but I think to be able to find that balance between technology that's available to you, but to also keep the performances real, I think is what makes this movie and this experience um, very special. Yeah. Some of the visuals of the, of the sets, you, you know, we were either against a green screen or just, <laughs> so that we never know. But yeah. uh, quite honestly, for the first time I've seen the, the visuals, the, yeah. the, the surroundings, okay. and it's just unbelievable. And uh, my God, mm -hmm. I always wonder how Nagi had this vision. That's yeah. what I was saying. It's all in his. It was all in so his, so in his, his mind. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, and even for us who like breathe in, breathe out with him every day, we'd be like, sometimes, oh, what are we shooting? What we've created is only like the thirty percent of the set. Like for example, the where you guys yeah. were fighting, it's just the bridge where we shot for Correct. a long but now time. You see but the now whole there's world. a whole city yeah. there. So, when we watch yeah. the world, when we watch, we started watching some of the, you know, CG shots and fully built sets. We're like, wow, this is what this man had in his head, fully there. Like yeah. he knew what he was doing. He, she, I think she knew what he was. Doing. What <laughs> no, did I your husband tell first? The, room, I'm like, oh, the first <laughs> sentence. What did he say about like, the film? The first, when he's like, he should tell you first. No, Nagi's the biggest expression would be like. That's no, no, no. The good. first time when he told about the story or the movie, what he want to make. He's, uh, he told you first, I think, as I remember. Yeah, so basically he said just like, said like, I have this, this story, one word, he hmm. just said like, you know, there's a small story that I really small like, but there's thing. another mm -hmm. one, no, there, but there's oh. another one, um, which is like, a really like something that I would do at really a, at another stage, but if I don't do this now, now uh -huh. Then I might not then be able, I might to, do not be able to do it again. And then he, f he, yeah. he for some so, reason, so went on that, yeah. say, saying in his own world words, I'd say, that this is something India deserves now. Mm. We will have to tell this sort of storytelling now. in India. We have to have our own, you know, stories like this. Yeah. So this has been there with him for the longest time. And apparently he wanted to do it with Prabhas. Like ages back, I said, I like, I don't even know how. First over. film you wanted to do with apparently with this film, and then. <laughs> <laughs> no, the fact that you know we are able to mix mythology with something futuristic Correct. is so unique. Yeah, it's yeah. unique, sir. And very intelligent. Yeah. Very yeah. intelligent. Um, most of India, all of India, recognizes our mythology and our history and our culture, and whatever our traditions. And are. what could go wrong? And what could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> To be able to bring that and make it sound real, I mean, we'll be disclosing a lot of the story <laughs> if we do that, but the fact is that by the end of the film, you will actually believe what you saw. Yeah. Yeah. And that is the vision that, you know, will make the success of the director of the production and the film also. But Prabhas, you, you worked in similar uh, subjects earlier also. Uh, well, this so is like, like this Babuli, for example, was, yeah, periodic. Well, well, was a little periodic. This but is future. Yeah, there is period yeah. and the future mixed together. Yeah, it's just, uh, I mean, it must have been a. And my character is like, uh, it has a lot of 
it has grey superhero funny <laughs> yeah. so also i think the first time you have humor one humor of the first I few did times for, like before bobli i had i did but for other than telugu i think this first time they watching me in humor funny character with superhero with grey shade so i think yeah. the way he wrote i think this is the best character ever in my life <laughs> <laughs> the right. way he wrote it and also i have to say that you know one of the most difficult casting ever was kamal sir kamal sir yeah he yaskin. was so worried about you know like you know we were shooting shooting <laughs> shooting but then like yaskin when is yaskin coming, coming the whole <laughs> film is yaskin but where is yaskin and how would you cast this this person who's <laughs> equivalent to or like you know uh, mightier than these two superheroes and then who is it and then we could only think we were like we we, we were we were, were we, we for one year one year sir easily one year easily one year and i was telling why will he do it don't torture <laughs> just leave proper question of torture because i self doubt becomes you know you done this he has done yeah, this yeah. he has done this so what am i going to do <laughs> you know that that was that the reason why I like that. and it's not that i've played bad guys mm. before mm. even as a lead mm. bad guy mm. psychopaths and all that but this is something else, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah first time yeah. we are lucky to but have you know, kamal <laughs> sir the detailing of the um, uh, the equipments that yeah. are going to be there like the like the bus for example yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and the car yeah. bougie, auto, bougie. auto. <laughs> yeah. and uh, and i didn't know that bougie was made in india yeah, it is fully made by mahindra and one of the uh, it was made by mahindra and j motors and yeah. also a lot of uh, young in indian uh, engineers a lot it's of just young. unbelievable yeah. many a times i used to ask nagi when i went on the set and said okay how did you think of this Mm. So, so there are there are companies that you know that yes. have think tanks and they we gave them the idea mm. and they come up with projections and mm. then we approve something. Even for a storyboard, you came up with a new guy. I suggested somebody. Mm. Correct, sir. We even tried that. Correct, sir. Well, yes. Not that they have a team and yeah, yeah. they'll never try anything new. Mm. Because yeah. we tried, we didn't like it. Yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. Yes. We came yeah. back. So, so look, there yeah. was still experimentation. Yes. Mm. yes. Even my look mm-hmm. i don't know it must have changed about five times at least cost <laughs> yeah. you yeah. 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 yeah everything no and also nagi is very fortunate to be working with you to especially at you know at your stature you're willing to experiment with him you're willing to explore things with him you know so uh, you know in one of the interviews which he just did uh, they, they said was it a big pressure you know shooting with bachan sir and kamal sir he said initially i was like i found it very funny and silly that i would actually direct both of them <laughs> then then you know it felt so easy because they said they both said don't make me an amita bachan don't mm-hmm. make me a kamal hasan do something else with us he had the same notion with both of you all and you know he enjoys working with you both so much absolute no pressure i'm like you were directing them and he has no pressure on his face so i Yeah, I think it's yeah, a great like, synergy. I, I don't know. I don't know about that, but it, it's terrible to be able to even think like this. You know, I don't want to play myself. But what is myself? I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm not me. <laughs> uh, I'm, with all due respects, we are all fakes in front of the camera. And anyway, we're playing fake characters. And, um, the writer is is a true genius. He he dreams. He thinks. But all of us are fakes. So. You. What is it about me? It's nothing. It's just something that you've seen in a visual in a in a film. It's not that this is how we are. <laughs> but but I mean, that's a gyan you get after 2020. And Deepika, first time you're doing a Telugu film, it's like completely different from the Bollywood, or little different, or very very different. No, I mean, I and now think... Nagi is very different for us also because <laughs> in the first story when he told me it was I could hear only twenty percent. <laughs> Other part I asked my friend like, what is that? So he's like, should have been tough for you from Bollywood yeah. to this. No, I mean, I I think that world of the movie, which mm. I think is new, even just even for the audience, it's new. Mm. Um, but I think as actors, you you're not really thinking. I think when you emote. the language i think comes secondary it's no, the, the, the emotion the is is what and i think yeah. that's that's the language of cinema right mm. it's 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 
mm. transcends borders it you know so you can act in english you can act mm. in telugu you can act in hindi but i think as long as the emotion you can just say so much with your eyes without saying anything at all and be able to convey that emotion and you can show um, the best the words your are <laughs> more like a crutch i feel yeah. so no i didn't feel i didn't feel like oh yeah. you know i'm now working yeah. in telugu cinema or, or you know it didn't feel overwhelming in that sense uh um, because what you're investing in as an actor is is the emotional journey of 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 the character but you know for a production of this value and and, and extent what i found was that uh until <laughs> nagi got the right thing at the right place he never compromised yeah, right. doesn't if he if he did something <laughs> he with you <laughs> beautiful way of getting <laughs> what he wants yeah um very smooth he won't shout from there no no he come up very quietly correct <laughs> <laughs> but very pertinent huh yeah. yes it's very pertinent it's yeah. not just asking it's not just yeah. yeah. and It'll even be... after seeing the rushes come on you know there are times when he said you know sir i feel we can improve on that and do something and as producers yeah. how do you live with this fact okay, <laughs> we've got to redo this thing yeah. we've got to put up the All set again we got to get the artist of... back we got to get the <laughs> timing and the dates and never have i seen any kind of you know regret of yeah. a very morose kind of face and yeah, hey, yeah. do it again <laughs> this guy is not worried about <laughs> the cost this picture i, I feel mean, about, i mean it's I think I, I really marvel at that. <laughs> I think in the cave set the first set that we shot no so I you know so we finished the schedule I think we shot for 4 days or 5 days and we were like almost done and we were like okay so this is done. So then it's like take those three pillars and take the flooring I'm like why we're done right so then I was like I didn't understand so then after 4 months we were shooting that same thing so then I was like okay so from every set I know what to keep so I know there will be something or the other no, that now you will go back I'm telling a story about how <laughs> producers feel happy when big artists like that lend themselves yeah. to the show yeah. Shivari sir had not worked for a year he came to act in Tevar Makam yeah. we did the scenes so i for him it's very new to see something on a computer mm. so correct that's right i was showing off and i showed him in a computer the cut version of the scene can i stay one more day is <laughs> <laughs> one more day yeah you can go what can you do all those close ups it looks very amateurish oh. <laughs> so I thought he's talking about me. Yeah. He said me I have not acted for one year. It shows. Oh, wow. gosh. Oh. How can you refuse a man oh, like that? Yeah. I said if I had to rebuild the set I would have built it for yeah, him. Yeah. So the director is asking for something. That's what I said the word pertinent I used was yes, when he tells you you can mean you are not asking what do you want? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Please tell me what do you want? <laughs> yeah. Keeping on. Yeah. Yeah. taking after take the yeah. what do you really want yeah. but he clearly tells you and you say ah yeah yeah yes yeah. that's yeah. what i should have done <laughs> and that, that's very rare in a amazing director yeah. very few have yeah. that yeah. when that happens the set lights up yeah. even with our yeah. lights yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. but to be working you know in the kind of circumstances that we did because of the uh, the covid you know, the way films are being shot now it it's a huge challenge for i mean a huge challenge for me i'm sure common viewers are feeling the same thing but you know not to have that environment around you right. and to be able to imagine that yeah it's it's, it's a difficult. little putting off in the beginning but yeah. then you when you see a couple of results then you get used to it but for us it was mm-hmm. you know like i was just telling backstage uh, my mentor mr gebal and that i went and told him a story which i saw rishida and he between shot light up they used to be playing chess yeah both the uh, uh, the lead man and the director will be playing chess and the unit will be waiting <laughs> and he'll say ah okay and then they'll go to the shot i came back and told my boss that <laughs> that's how mm-hmm. calm a shot to be are you trying to tell me something <laughs> i said yes sir <laughs> <laughs> you are so uh, excited and i am nervous what do you expect with you guys in the set i am nervous no but it 
<laughs> catches on, <laughs> it's contagious and we don't want that. But uh, that, that's very important. But you know what is really admirable and I'll just I've said it so many times, is the kind of discipline that we see in, in the South. Mm. I'm sure that you will yes. agree with that. Uh, no, but, but that discipline well, there's, the is grass is always greener. <laughs> <laughs> right from the yeah. spot boy to the director to the co-artist, there's a kind of discipline which I, I can't put in words. Mm. I feel humility. <laughs> the Despite who they are yes. and what they are, no, but I, I to show something. that kind of humility yeah. and down-to-earthness is, well, to not be, expected at yeah, all. To be the first person there and the last person and like so was saying not just we used I to complain really about <laughs> Tamil industry <laughs> and point out the Telugu industry as an example for discipline but then Nagi told me something which made me very happy when I was an assistant director they used to say look at this Tamil assistant director <laughs> So I was a Tamil assistant. <laughs> so was it about me? It can't be. <laughs> but I think there are so many things I learned from Bombay. Like he was saying, we used to actually jump off buildings, showing off. And the safety factor, first I learned from Bombay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm quite surprised, uh, Amiji says, I'm surprised with all these safety factors. But uh, after Shole, even horses had padded falls. Yeah. <laughs> even heroes didn't have that kind of fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There. We started from there, and for me, it, it's, a, it's a fantastic journey. I'm a child of cinema. I came when I was three. I came with the live sound, went to dubbing, and back to live sound. <laughs> wow. Now, yeah, it's yeah. a full <laughs> cycle. <laughs> and, um, uh, and as she was saying, he makes use of all the gizmos when it's needed. Mm. I don't see somebody flashing all the gadgets mm. he has. He uses it mm. precisely and it's a quiet set. That's yeah. what I liked about it. That's because he's organized in his mind as to what he wants. Yeah. Yeah, what's and, and the rest of the unit follows him. Mm. That is important. I mean, they, they admire mm. him, they honor him. And, uh, mm. and I think some of the assistants working actually belong to film families. Mm. Uh, I realized, I didn't know who, who was who. The bunch of kids are all first timers all and he are. always yeah. refers yeah. to I know his sister. His sister is working with yeah. him. Yeah. 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 I was scared yeah. with her because yeah. one day we yeah. were shooting yeah. with him yeah. and he says, she's my sister. Yeah. Yeah. When we were young, she used to box me. <laughs> After that, I started looking. He's extremely keen only on working with First timers, he feels yeah. they're going to bring something onto the table that something uh, new. Yeah, something new. Fresh. So he's very, very clear about no, it. No, you, you yourself are a second generation. Thing. You had somebody yeah, in the family. My sister. Which, yeah. No, no. Before Rajigar. you, uh, I, his uncle. Sir. Uncle. My uncle. Oh, yeah. I worked with him. Yeah, yeah, you are <laughs> as an assistant. <laughs> <laughs> so I was a dance assistant. So wow. his uncle, <laughs> yeah. And he was not much of a dancer, so he used to. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me this moment. <laughs> it's a threaten me. Take me aside during breakfast and threaten me about the moment. This is what I can do now. This is the step you teach me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is so amazing, sir, that you know what cinema has done for all of us in the last few years is you know it actually there are no boundaries anymore. That we all can come back from you know wherever we are from the part of the country and able to make one cinema which is Indian cinema which is incredible and people like Nagashwin are able to dream to do this because they're able to pull talent from all across and get them and you know make it's something like the national like flag absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely we have a national pool absolutely. of talent <laughs> which we should stand up and yeah. salute yeah. and yeah, well all said, of us well said, need yeah. to do that absolutely. and we do that more films like this could be absolutely. made absolutely. A lot of times, you know, at, uh, at my age, and people say, sir, sir, when are you going to do a film something like Hollywood? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I tell them, oh, when is Hollywood going to do a film something like us? <laughs> Come and make something that we do. Uh, but wow. Wow. <laughs> what we have to go through and the kind of stories that we build, because mm. ours are, is, you know, pan-India. And uh, it's, it's, it's very tough what we do and how yeah. we make our films. Okay, so sometimes people ridicule us and laugh at us and so on and so forth. <laughs> But there is always some element mm. 
which you will always learn in all our firms. Yes. <laughs> and, I, and I keep saying this story over and over again. Uh, my father, during his last years, uh, every evening, you know, used to be, he used to bring him on his wheelchair and used to sit and he said, put on a movie. Mm -hmm. He used to see a movie. So many times, my own ones, three, four times. One day I asked him, you know, what is this here? Every evening you are going and seeing a movie. He said, I get to see poetic justice in three hours. Mm. <laughs> you will not get poetic justice in a lifetime. Uh. And many of us in several lifetimes will not get. But I see poetic justice. That's what Indian cinema is all about. Wow. Yes, yes. Yes. You get to see poetic justice <laughs> in three hours. <laughs> no matter what you may say about us, at the end of the day, you will go back mm. with some moral, with some ethics, which is cultural, which is Indian. Beautiful. And I can tell you, people are going to be shocked when they see uh, Kalki they with mm. the kind of effort that has been put in. And these visuals are just unbelievable. Yes. <laughs> and I was just seeing some comments on the net, which is very heartening. So, like exactly what uh, what you said about Bringing India is ready for it, yeah. and yeah. they are <laughs> because they are owning it up, mm. and they're saying Great. nice. We deserve to see such such books. Great. Great. Yay. Yay. <laughs> This is the silence that we have on the set. <laughs> we have nothing more to say because we are fully satisfied. Now we have to redo this because this light was off. Oh, shit. Hey, light band over. CG mein karenge. It's on the table. No, no, I'm just no, so, if there's anything else, uh, Swarna, Bianca ji, if you want to, you know, ask us or say something. I think we just want to thank you. Yeah, we just want to thank you. Thank uh, you for it is it. not unusual Sir. because normally you don't say much. Sir, you he is Sir. maintaining the pregnant <laughs> silence of the director. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm imitating my director. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all extremely thankful, sir. All of us, extremely grateful no, these for are just what has happened. Don't, don't no, 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 no. Yeah. This is truly I from know. the heart because, or not on a regular day, not on a. It doesn't, you know, something like this doesn't happen to everybody and just happened to us. We're very, very grateful. That's because I feel my father has invested so much of his life into cinema, yeah. and I feel cinema is giving back it to us. It's as simple as that. Yeah. 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 <laughs>